Tonight, a proposal from the Missouri Secretary of State could keep certain books and other materials out of the hands of kids. Our Laura Barczewski spoke with Jay Ashcroft and one of the largest library districts in the state about the proposed changes. Laura. Mike and Ann, the Secretary of State tells me this is all about making sure parents are, do, are the ones deciding what their kids read. St. Charles Library officials tell me they agree, but have some concerns about this proposed rule. Public libraries have always been about free and equal access for everyone and that um, people should be able to decide for themselves what to read, see, or view, or for um, their own children, parents or guardians should be able to do that. Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft says under a new rule, he wants state-funded public libraries to write out policies and guidelines for determining what books and materials are age appropriate. So they'll have to take uh, responsibility for those policies. They have to make them public uh, so that their constituents, so that parents, so the taxpayers can see those. St. Charles City County Library CEO Jason Cool says they and many other libraries already have a procedure in place. We have a review committee read every one of those challenged items um, and make a determination. I have not seen a sort of a, a large problem out there with miscategorized books in public libraries. And so I think from my end, I, I question what this what problem this is addressing. Ashcroft says this rule proposal comes from a discussion he had at a library director's meeting. I used that hyperbole and said, look, you don't have someone something for everyone. You don't have books on how to be a child molester for convicted child molesters in your in your library. And I had a library director that said that's because they won't publish them. And they were serious. Cool says while the library district is still learning about this proposed rule, at the end of the day, he's concerned. I think this could be the beginning of a slippery slope, no matter how sort of innocuous the initial sort of steps could look. It could set precedents for more and more restrictive policies in the future. Secretary Ashcroft says he wants people to submit public comments on this proposed rule. They'll ex start accepting those on November 15th for 30 days. We'll have all the information on KSDK.com. And Laura, thank you.